Watch this. Well, they'll meet you halfway. <laughs> Not good enough, Cliff. Larry, wait. For what? They'll give you all the concession money except parking. And the rent? No, it's still 50000 a game. <laughs> I didn't build a dome, Cliff. You did. You're stuck with it. We have alternatives. Alternatives? Uh -uh. I'm the one with alternatives. I can put the team anywhere I want it. If you're not willing to put up your share of the risk, then you're out of the deal. All right, don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger. Tell me what you'll take. Oh, for the last time. Concessions, food, merchandise, etc. Forty thousand dollars a game, up to two million attendance, and it's fifty grand over. Be reasonable, Larry. At forty grand a game, we don't even cover half our debt service. I can tell you right now, that's not going to fly. <laughs> you know, Cliff, a major league baseball team is like a magnet: more people, more business, more taxes. You don't have to take it all in rent. Only if there's enough attendance. Exactly, which puts us in the same boat. I'm, uh, you know, not enough people. You and I both get nailed. I'm not hanging my ass out there by myself. All right. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. You might tell them that the clock is ticking and that there are plenty of other cities. Care for a donut? No, thanks. I think I lost my appetite. I'll get back with you. <laughs> Jesus, Dad, you could lose the deal. Uh, <laughs> not a chance, Donnie. Not a chance. Johnson's got restaurants. The mayor's got land options all around the stadium. No, they need the ball team to get reelected. We got him by the short hairs, boy. Hand me that donut. Oh, God, I was counting on him losing his appetite. Bobby Carter, nice to meet you. How you doing? Good. Good. Stick your mark. Okay. Slayton. Uh, my name is Bobby Carter. I'm with the Dresden Agency. Do you know your lines? I think so, yeah. Go ahead. Honey, why aren't the dogs eating their barcos? One more time, please. Okay. Honey, why aren't the dogs eating their barcos? It's not one. How about you do it one more time? Do you want that like more angry or confused? Because I don't know why sure. they're... Sure. Angry or your kids, your dog, whatever. Just do it. But not the dogs because that... Just, yeah. Honey, why are the dogs eating their barcos? Why? You just know what we're looking for. Was that too much? Because I could totally pull that... Thank you. I mean, I could do... Thanks, Bobby. It was different. I didn't even say they'd call me back this time. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. I've been pushing hard. Maybe you'll get the series. Yeah, right. long to answer. Oh, you don't want to know. Wait, Mom? Are you sleeping? Uh, not exactly. Bobby, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Not in California. Oh, God. I forgot. Never mind. What are you doing this weekend? Uh, I haven't really thought about it. Good. I'm sending you the money to come home for this weekend. What for? Bobby, it's been six months. So, can't you come here? 
It's your father's birthday and I'm throwing a party for his 60th. Oh well, happy birthday. It would be such a wonderful surprise. Wonderful? Last time I saw him, he told me how disgusted he was by me. Bobby, you know he didn't mean that. Yeah, right. He'll come around. He just doesn't understand. He needs time. Mom, not the speech. Do it for me, Bobby. I miss you. I can't. Please, just do it for me. All right, all right. Thanks, sweetie. I love you. I love you, too. I wish you could come with me. Don't forget, you may get the part. All right. Stop being so negative. Do they know about me? They will. I'll miss you. Miss you too. Mm. Love you. Love you too. You. I'm so glad you're here. Six months is way too long. Bobby. Good to see you. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good fight? It was great. Did you sleep? Like a baby. Uh, I hate the red eye. Never can get to sleep. How long are you staying? Just till Tuesday. Gotta get back for an audition. Still spinning your wheels, huh? Still twisting the knife. Nah, never mind. Put some shorts on. Shoot some hoops. Does Dad know him home? Mom? Not yet. We'll surprise him. Yeah. I'll bet you will. You could have told me he was coming home. And if I did? I don't know. What's the use? You could be a little more supportive, dear. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What a waste. You know, with a touch like that, he could have been a major... He coulda, shoulda. It's his life. He's living in a dream world, Janet. He threw it all away. You'll never understand, Larry. He hears a different drummer. Mm. He just needs to find himself. Find himself? God, I hate that phrase. Look at him. Look at him. Still whining. He just wants to have some fun, Larry. Fun? Janet, you want some fun? You gotta go out and grab it. Nobody's gonna hand it to you. I mean, it's not like you don't appreciate the benefits. It always comes to that. And you wonder why he doesn't talk to you. Oh. What are you, crazy? Quit your wine. Come on. Just take it out. Let's go. Oh, would a baby hood his arm? Where are you going? Game's not over. Come on! He certainly won't get anywhere by quitting. He bruised his arm, Larry. I'm going to get him an ice bag. Got another arm for Craig's Show sake. a little enthusiasm. Oh, what happened, honey? Nothing. Hey, son. It's great to have you home. Yeah, Dad, you sound really excited. I tried. Does it hurt, honey? No, it's nothing, Mom. Was this necessary, Donnie? What are you talking about? It was a game of one-on-one, -on -one, Don, not a war. Hey, come on, it's over. Gut it up, Bobby. Whatever, I'm gonna go take a shower. You believe that? Will you stop it already? What do you expect? You should have seen it, just like we were kids. Takes it and takes it and he cries like a little baby. You mean quits, Donnie. Different drummer, my ass. Mr. Carter! Mr. Carter, just one comment, please. Just one quick question, sir. Mr. Carter, just one comment. Please. Mr. Carter, 
Is it true the condition the city has placed on the lease may prevent you from moving the team here? Not there yet. Then you've accepted the lease as written? I didn't say that. Then you're saying... Don't put words in my mouth, young lady. I'm saying that I have every confidence the city is doing all they can to make this thing happen. Well, Mr. Carter, just one more question. Mr. Carter. Look, all I can tell you is that I'm doing everything I can. And I have total confidence that they're doing the same thing. Thank you. Mr. Carter, just one more comment, sir. Yeah, just one more comment, please. You uh, really left it in the laps back there. <laughs> it's exactly where I want it. If they let these uh, concessions put a damper on the deal, the press will crawl all over them. <laughs> where are you going now? <clears throat> well, I need to stop at the bank, and uh, then I need to go see Jack and go over some test results. Test results? What's wrong? No, nothing. Nothing. Same old speech. Your cholesterol is too high, your blood pressure is too high, you need to get more exercise and stop eating. That'll be 350 bucks, please. <laughs> Same old story. Yeah. Oh, God. Hey, I need you to uh, get a hold of Jacobs and Reiner and set up a lunch and wrap them up. All right, you got and it. And I want you to ride on George and make sure he's close to finishing the paperwork on the Kendall deal. You gotta keep a tight leash on these lawyers, trust me. It's as good as done. Ugh. By the way, how did that reporter find out about the deal blocker and the lease? <laughs> you know, <coughs> sometimes I wonder if you're really my son. <laughs> I did it, kid. I leaked it. <laughs> you love being in that play. Yeah. You really want Hollywood, don't you? I love it, Mom. I just wish your dad would understand. Forget it. We'll never understand. Bobby, he just wants what's best for you. Yeah, right. Bobby. I know, he just has a funny way of showing it. What makes you love it? I'm alive, Mom, when I'm around creative people. I mean, I can't wait to go to the next class or to have a conversation at the coffee shop. I mean, sports are fun, but I just don't think seeing who can drink the most beer or belch the loudest after a Friday night game is something to look forward to. Besides, I uh, have a girlfriend. Wow, what's her name? Is it serious? Reagan and Barry. We're planning on getting engaged. Bobby, why didn't you tell me? I don't know, I just didn't. Well, you can tell me all about her at dinner. Larry, you haven't made a payment in three months. I'm this close, man. I just need a little more time. The auditors are coming in next week. Hey, I got a house of cards here, Jim. One little disruption and the whole thing's gonna collapse. And then where are you? Testifying in front of Congress? Oh, very funny. What do you suppose I do? Lend you more money? Exactly! I'll be happy to pay the interest on all the mortgages and that ought to make the auditors happy. That just gets us deeper. Oh, on the contrary, Jim, it makes you whole. Because it won't matter next month. I'll have the ball club and the money. You have a point. I will lend you enough money to cover the delinquent interest in principle. Not one cent more. Thank you, Jesus. You won't regret it, buddy. You got my word. So I forgot to tell you last night. I could play some one-on-one -on -one with a little prick. And believe me, Beth, it's little. I grew up with him. Not everybody can be hung like you. And so I told him about the baby. Instead of sounding happy for us, he has the balls to ask me if we're doing this for us or for Dad. What? Yeah. I got so mad, every time he drove towards the basket, I just hit him. You did what? I thought he was going to cry. Every time he got past me, I followed him. God, I'm late. You know, that's not fair. What's the matter with you? I don't know. It made me mad. What? 
Calm down, I got what? The part, Bobby, the part! I don't believe it. Okay, well you've gotta be back in a week to start shooting. We get four more episodes this year. It's true? Yes. Well, it gets better. They're gonna give you equal billing with Sean. They see you both as leads. I can't believe it. Five years. Five years of my life. And it's gonna happen now. Oh, I'm so excited. I could jump for joy. <laughs> Did you tell your mother? Yep, and she's dying to meet you. And your dad? Uh, not yet. Well, why not? I will. Just give me some time. Well, just let him know how much I love you and that he'll have my life on his hands if he doesn't let me have you. I will. I gotta go, babe. I'll call you when the party's over. Okay. Well, I love you and don't have such a good time. God, I love you so much. Larry. Hey, Jack, how are you? <laughs> Sit down, Larry. I uh, have a number of things I need to go through with you. You know, every time I walk into this office, I am awestruck with the number and the size of those books. Did you really read them all? I read them, ate them, digested them, lived them. Believe me, Larry, just looking at them gives me heartburn. <laughs> Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry if I'm a little late. I spilled something all over my coat in the limo, but... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, give me the bad news and the lecture that goes with it, and I can get the hell out of here. Larry, I'm afraid it's just not that simple this time. What? I feel great. You have a spot on your chest X-ray that needs to be looked at. Well, what is it? I don't know, and that's why we need to look at it. Jack, you're scaring me here. I mean, what's there to look at? Do you, do you think it's cancer? It could be anything. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I can't believe this shit, Jack. You know, I'm not one of your googly-eyed, blue-haired female patients that thinks you're Jesus Christ. This is Larry here. I asked you a simple question. Do you think it's cancer? I don't know. And we won't know unless we get a biopsy. Jack, what is the probability that it's a cancer? I'm being as precise as I can, Larry. I can't put a number on it. I'm sorry. I didn't think it was worth bringing up until we at least had a biopsy report. Never mind. What's the next step? We admit you to the hospital. Um, we call in a thoracic surgeon. We prepare you for the biopsy and a lobectomy if necessary. Lobectomy? The removal of the lobe of the lung. If the biopsy is positive, they're going to need to remove it right away. Jesus. When do you want to do this? As soon as possible. I'd like to get you in the hospital today and get Rutherford to see you tonight. Uh, is he the best? Larry, I'm your friend. I wouldn't recommend him unless I thought he really was the best. I swear, I will take care of you, just as I would take care of my wife. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Tell me, can I wait two days? The earlier, the better. What's the delay? Well, tonight we're celebrating my 60th birthday with a party that, along with you, includes about 100 other people that expect me to be there. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Larry's there tonight. God, I just, I, I didn't remember. Never mind. This can't be easier for you either. So I'll go into the hospital Sunday night, all right? Okay. I'll need you to make this appear, you know, routine. I mean, keep it quiet. Understood. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you later. Oh, and uh, would you do me a favor? Please don't tell Janet, because she put a lot of effort into this party, and uh, I don't want to spoil it for her. Huh? I need you to help me with my necklace, dear. Sure. Is your head off in another business deal? After all this time, I can always tell when you're off in another world. Mm -hmm. Try to enjoy tonight. It's your birthday, remember? Mm -hmm. Here, now help me with my necklace. I'm sure whatever you have on your mind can wait. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you down there, okay? Okay, sweetie.
Just like a banshee. Raving maniac. I can hear the lecture now. You don't pass in Little League football. Two bad things can happen when you... Too bad you gave it up, Bobby. You could have been one hell of a college quarterback. I just didn't see the point. Come on, Bobby. You know the life of every high school and college center is an athlete. Yeah, I'll echo that. Saturday and Sunday afternoons, he doesn't even know me. I'm out of here. Come on, Bill. I'm gonna get some fresh air. You can help me with my insults. Avoided head-on collision there. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Come on, Bobby. What'd you expect? I turned down every scholarship offered to you. The entire neighborhood was disappointed. It's my life. I should be able to do what I want, right? You get responsibilities to other people. You let them down. Come on, guys. This is way too heavy. It's your dad's birthday. Let's change the subject. No, 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 no. I want to hear what the Neanderthal has to say. <laughs> What'd you call me? Nothing, Don. Gail's right. It's your dad's birthday. This discussion is over. Come on. Let's get some fresh air. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Oh, Janet, you just always say the right thing. There's nothing more to be said. Believe me, when the deal is done, I will scream so loudly that you will all be the first to know. Sounds orgasmic to me. Stanley, must you always be so visceral? Sorry, I was just daydreaming. I saw Bobby and Tara leave together. Wouldn't Gail be thrilled if they made a match? I'll have to admit, we were all pretty surprised when Bobby left. Don't include me in that group. I think Bobby has a lot of creative instincts. It's his life. Bravo, Stanley. You're always so accepting. So why did you choose Larry over me? That, my friend, is a provocative, if ill-timed question. Ah, the bane of my existence. <clears throat> Poor timing. Just as well. Now, if you'll excuse me. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention? We are here to celebrate an important milestone in Larry Carter's life, his 60th birthday. I've had the good fortune of knowing Larry for well over 30 years, and you can take it to the bank. There is no more sincere and decent guy to a great friend. Larry, would you please come up here for a minute? Come on. Come on! Come on. Hey, all right, all right. Larry, my friend, in appreciation for your friendship and loyalty, we all got together to get you something that you have never stopped talking about. We know that you'll appreciate it, and we know that you'll know what to do with it. So without any further ado, we give you Katie! I'm <laughs> Katie. Hey. I'm the over the hill bunny. <laughs> and someone told me you're over the hill too. <laughs> and you know why they sent you balloons? No, tell me. So you would have a memory of me. <laughs> Well, these are for you. Wow, thank you. And now it's time for your physical examination. Oh. You, you have to bend over oh, really? and read this button right here. Uh, I used to be somebody. <gasps> you did? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> then let's Jeez. see you do the bunny hop. Everybody help me. Da 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 I always like coming out here at night. It's always so peaceful. It's really exciting about your dad buying a baseball team. It's always his dream. It's not for you? No. Too much publicity, too much attention. 
Is that why you quit playing sports? I didn't quit playing sports. I quit playing sports that were followed by the media. I still play pickup games. Did it bother you to listen to all that criticism when you decided to go to acting school? Wow, you don't beat around the bush. Are you always so nosy? Sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I was just, well, you know. Know what? Why you turned down the chance to play college ball? Now why would you care about that? Now Bobby Carter. Since I was a little girl, I've always been interested in you. Now was that because I was popular and played sports? Or because it was me? That's not a fair question. You can't separate that part of you from the real you. I know I stopped playing. I wanted to know who liked me for who I was and not just what I was. Does that make sense? When you put it that way, I, I guess it does. You really surprised me. You've really grown up. I've waited a long time to have you notice me, Bobby Carter. Better late than never. <laughs> oh, now it's picture time! <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, sweetie. I ain't gonna hurt you. I hate my wife standing right <laughs> over there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get away from me. Oh. The show must go on. Oh, but, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I just seen him first. Larry Carter caught with his mouth open. And nothing to say. Here's to one of the greatest competitors in the world. <laughs> Good morning, dear. So, what'd you think of the party last night? Pretty lively affair, huh? Yeah, great show, Dad. You are your usual exuberant self, dear. You handled that stripper like she was your long lost lover. Thank you, darling. She was a beauty. I miss her already. Oh. What are you guys talking about? Were you and Tara gone that long? How'd you know me and Tara were gone? What the hell are you two talking about? Sorry, you were a little late. Hey. Hi. Hi. Good morning, kid. Well, now that everyone is here, I have an announcement to make. I met a wonderful girl in LA. We've been living together for a year. And we're getting engaged. Bobby, that's wonderful. Why didn't you bring her home? What's her name? Reagan, and not the budget. Oh. Well, I hate to bust your bubble, son, but uh, speaking of budgets, how are you gonna support her? We'll get by. <laughs> I don't see how. Why don't you let us deal with that? What does her father do? What does that matter? Just curious. Thought maybe he'd want to support you. Why can't we just be happy for him, Larry? Hey, forgive me, but contrary to popular belief, you can't live on love. Well, we won't have to because I got a roll. A roll, schmoll. How long is that gonna last? You know what? You'd ruin a wet dream. Bobby! Not that kind of language, please. Where are you going? Get some fresh air. Well, uh... Not to change the subject, but Beth has some exciting news. Mm. Well, I guess now is as good a time as any. I'm pregnant. Oh, honey, that's great. How far along? Thank you. Almost four months. Have you picked a name yet? Slow down, Dad. We just found out on Thursday, and um, I'm trying to figure out how to tell everybody. We haven't even told Beth's parents yet. Boy or a girl? Not yet, Mom. The doctor said he'd tell us when he did the ultrasound. Wow, our first grandchild. Oh, congratulations. Although I don't know if this one's ready to be a father yet. <laughs> <laughs> He'll settle down. Well, you have a built-in babysitter right here. Oh, thanks, Jane. Thanks, Jane. I hope you know we're gonna hold you to that. Good. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, this news certainly deserves a toast, but before we get to that, I'm afraid I have a little news of my own to impart, but I refuse to allow it to interfere with this celebration. Yeah? What's that, Dad? Tomorrow I have to go to the hospital for some further testing. Now, Donnie, I'm going to need you to run shot. Testing? Uh, it's just testing, honey, just testing. I'm going to need you to run shotgun for me and downplay this hospital thing because I don't want it to interfere with the dynamics of the ball club deal. What kind of testing? Honey, I don't know. Uh, Jack just wants me to go into this guy Rutherford and get a biopsy. Now, let's not make a big deal out of it. Are you okay, Dad? I'm fine. I'm fine. Everybody calm down. I just want to get into the hospital, get this thing over with, and let's just not make a big deal out of it, okay? And you know my old man, Beth? Hard as nails. A little biopsy is going to keep him down. Yeah, well, listen, enough on that. Let's get back to this baby thing. How you doing, Beth? Any morning sickness? Nothing really major to speak of. It's really just about over with. I guess I'm handling it all fine. Well, that's great. I think we should just break out a bottle of champagne and toast to my first grandson. Grandchild, Larry. Grandson, dear. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> to Larry Carter, Jr. I am miserable. When? I don't know. I was supposed to leave today, but my mom just called and said my dad has a biopsy. If you need surgery, I might have to stay longer. Bobby, you, you know, you can't miss the first rehearsal. I know. That's not until Friday anyway, right? God, do I miss you. Have you told him yet? Yes, I did. Well, are they excited? Of course. Okay, well, anyway, that's great. I hope everything turns out okay. Thanks, sweetie. I'll give you a call when I know what's going on. Okay. I love you. Me too. Tough case, huh, Carl? You're not kidding. George, take over for me. I'm running late. If you want some help, talk to the family, Carl. I appreciate that, Jack. My force some more weight. He's an important guy. It would be better if we both helped out there. Come on, Jack. Let's get this over with. doing today? Please. He's finally sleeping. Sorry. I need to take his vitals. <sighs> Mr. Carter, uh, I'm gonna need you to drink this, okay? Please, Mr. Carter, you must get your fluids. He's not thirsty. His head is all twisted. Please, Mrs. Carter. Can we move him up first, at least? Oh, I guess he must have slipped down a bit. Could you get your hand under that side and help me slide him up? Okay. Uh, ow. It'll be much easier if we put the bed down. If you could just help me. Trying. Very good. It's okay. It's okay. Humor me. Let's move him now. Oh. One, two. Oh! Okay. Okay. Let's back up. Okay. 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 Give me that. Here, sweetheart, let me give you a sip. I don't understand. Why does he need water when he has IV fluids going in him? Doctor. And how are we doing today? Oh, great, just great. I bet you feel like you've been in a good fight, huh? Yeah, feel something like that. Well, let's take it one day at a time. You'll have to tolerate these tubes a few days. <sighs> Give it to me straight, Doc. Did you get all of it? I got all that I could see. Well, that's a relief. <sighs> what do you want me to do next? 
First, let's concentrate on getting these wounds healed. Then, I can set up a plan for further treatment. You've been through a big ordeal, Larry. You need to get cleaned up and get some rest. Mrs. Carter, if you and your son can step outside for a moment, please, then I can give you some instructions on home care. Be all right, honey. Go on. Where's your mom? She went to get some coffee. And Donnie? He went to work. He'll be back in a little while. Good. Before they get back, tell me what the doctor told you that he couldn't say to me. He just gave us some details on what to expect. Bobby, I don't have the energy or the inclination to play games. Now, before they get back, tell me what the doctor said. He just told us about your recovery period and that you need to get your rest. The tumor, Bobby. I want to know about the tumor. We have to watch it. I thought he said he got it all. He did, but he added that there may be microscopic particles. Did he see any? No, he didn't see any. They're microscopic. You can't see them. Oh, Jesus, Bobby. He had me scared there for a minute. Hey, look. I know you and your mother have been here all night. You gotta be tired. I'm fine. Yeah, well, I think you ought to go home and get some rest, and I'll do the same. But we gotta have a talk. Okay, Mom. Okay. Don't forget, we need to talk. Did you have to tell him? He has enough to worry about. I know, Mom. I couldn't help it. He just kept asking and asking. You should have said you didn't know. I did the best I could. Besides, he's gonna have to know there could be microscopic spread. You can't just keep that from him. Why not? I don't know. You just can't. He has a right to know. You're right, but not right now. I wanted to wait till he was ready. And when would that be, Mother? I don't know, but it's certainly not now. <sighs> Promise me you'll say nothing more until I say that it's okay. God, I'm trying. Good. Now go home and get some rest. I'll stay. You sure you're gonna be all right? I'm fine. Go home and take care of you. Love you, Mom. Is your father's illness going to impede the progress of the purchase of the team? I don't expect us to miss a beat. Yet. It's rumored that your father's suffering from cancer. Can you comment on that? That's ridiculous. Next question. Are you going to take a more active role in uh, running the team? That's up to my dad. He's the boss. He signs the checks. Did you finalize the lease with the city? And if not, what's taking so long? All I can say is that these things take time. There's also rumors that your father's investors have pulled out because of his illness. I have no knowledge of anybody backing out. I do. And I'd still like to know how you plan on coming up with the funds when everyone is jumping ship. Who the hell sent you? I'm just here for the facts, that's all. Well, these are the facts. No one is jumping ship. Now you better get the hell out before I throw you out. Read the paper tomorrow. Hey, where are you? Huh? I'm sorry, I must have just dazed off. It must have been a rough day. You don't know the half of it. Bad? It wasn't that bad, it was just uh, exhausting. I saw the news broadcast at dinner tonight. It sounded terrible. What did they say? Something about lung cancer and a long recovery and some of the investors getting cold feet and backing out. Because of dad's illness? Partly. They showed a tape of your brother, Don, chasing a reporter out of the room. That's Don. Don't you have any desire to be involved? No way. I'm not into that rat race. By the way, it was really nice of your folks to drive my mom to the hospital. They just want to help. Well, it gave me a much needed break. Come on, let's go get something to eat. What are you, an idiot? You're going to kill this deal. That reporter was an asshole. That's no excuse. I'm sorry. I, I just lost my temper. Uh, water under the bridge now. All that matters is where we go from here now. Firstly, we got to downplay the possibility of anybody leaving a group, and we got to downplay my illness. And you're going to call that reporter and apologize, and I'll take care of the investors. 
I can't do that. She was an asshole. You can and you will! Jeez. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. Set up a news conference for me on Monday in my office. You sure you'll be all right? I'll be fine. And get a hold of Johnson. Tell him to hurry up on that package. Now, what happens if you don't have the financing in place by the time they're ready to close? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If we admit it now, the whole thing will come collapsing around our heads. But if we go to the bargaining table just a little short, I think we'll be okay. Why? Because that's the way it works. It's like betting heavily on a poker hand. The more you're into it, the harder it is to get out. Okay, I'm on it. Let's get on to you for a moment, Bobby. Okay? What are you doing out there? Do we have to talk about this right now? If I didn't want to talk about it, I wouldn't have brought it up. I hear you. If I wanted an echo, I would have stand in a canyon. Now, what are you doing out there? I told you that now is not the time to talk about this. <sighs> okay, Bobby. I gave you... <laughs> I gave you a reprieve. But everybody in this family is accountable. I will want some answers. That's what I'm trying to do. By the way, I gotta leave tomorrow. I have a rehearsal on Friday. Oh. You, you just got here. We, we haven't had any time to spend together. Oh, gee. Are, are you coming back? I'm gonna try. You, you need money? No, I'll be fine. Well, you know how I feel about supporting that folly out there, but it doesn't include transportation back and forth. <laughs> Your mom and I want to meet her. Look, I gotta go, but I'll send mom down before I leave. Okay, you go ahead, but don't bother with your mom. She'll be back when she's ready. Hurry back, son. Glad to have you aboard. Thank you so much. I want you to meet Sean. I really look forward to working with you. I've been a huge fan. Well, I can understand why. Bobby, have a seat. Got a few things to go over. We've got the standard contract here for you to sign. Get that done as fast as possible. Reagan, hand him a copy of the script. We've got a table reading on Monday and a rehearsal on Tuesday. Now, we've done a couple of episodes and we've got good ratings. We expect when we contrast you with Sean, the ratings will go through the roof. I don't even know what to say. Well, don't thank me. Thank Reagan. She pushed it, and I think she nailed it. From the tapes, you're exactly the thing we've been missing. Now that you're out of the hospital, we must address a full treatment plan. Why do I need further treatment? You're going to need radiation therapy as adjunctive treatment. I thought you got it all. From what I could see, I did. There's some microscopic lymphatic spread. God damn it. Do you mean I still could die from this? You didn't say that, Larry. Janet, please, let me ask the questions. Yes, it's possible. And you say radiation treatment might help cure it? Yes. <sighs> when do you want me to start? Tomorrow. Then I want to see you in a week. At the front desk, they'll coordinate your schedule and give you lots of material to read on radiation. OK, Doc. Hey, you take good care of me. I'll make sure you get the best seats and seats in the house. That's the best offer I've had all day. How are you holding up? Oh, not bad. I mean, 12 hour days, six days a week. Isn't that too much? No, it just flies by when you're on set. Bobby, I need you to come home. So does your dad. Mom, there is nothing I can do. I just can't make it right now. Bobby, he needs you. All right, look, we filmed for another two weeks. 
maybe a few days after we wrap, I can come home, okay? All right. It won't make him happy, but it'll have to do. Do you need money? No, I'm good. Love you. Me too. Call you when I get in. I hope we're gonna make this a short visit. Oh, I plan to. You sure you can't come? Too much to do in pre-production. Oh, hope they pick up the show. Bobby, don't worry. The ratings are great. We're in it for the full ride and you made it happen. We all made it happen. Whatever, at least we can move and get some space. Yeah. All right, well, call me when you get in. Have a good trip. Well. Sweet ass, the vultures are out in force. Oh, Larry, why don't you stop talking? Just relax. I want a drink. Pops, the usual? Fine. Mom? The Shiraz over there will do. Bobby, I'm really glad you were with us because there's so much to learn and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around. Stop being so negative. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, well. I got lung cancer, Janet. It isn't gonna go away. <laughs> Calm down. <coughs> the doctor said they were gonna cure it. Oh, God, why does this have to happen to me now? <coughs> Did the doctor say something that I should know? No, Bobby, I should just do <laughs> what your you mom do. says and be less negative. Can you tell me if there was a problem? Of course, Bobby. Stop worrying. <coughs> Are you okay, dear? <coughs> Oh, God, Larry! Look what you did to my dress. Oh, I can't breathe. It's okay, Dad. Here, here, here. Lean down, lean down, lean down. Uh, you. Here, cough it all up. God, are you okay? Oh, God, I'm sorry, son. I didn't, I didn't mean to get it all over you. Shh, try not to talk, Dad. I got you. Oh, God. Oh. I didn't think a breath of air could smell so good. <sighs> Look, you've had a long enough day. Let's get you upstairs. <sighs> okay. Uh. Oh. Uh. Right, it's time to wake up, Dad. Got two meetings today. Oh, God, I wish I felt better. Well, the doctor said you would feel better once the radiation is done. Now, well, there's an understatement. Well, let's just take it one day at a time. Bobby, you've been a big help around here, but it's time you got on with your own life. You know, do something useful. I am doing something useful. What do you want to wear today? You know what I'm trying to say. How about the gray suit with the red power tie? Bobby, quit changing the subject. Not now, Dad. We have a schedule to keep. Fuck the schedule! I don't have a whole lot of time left here! Why don't you give up this acting crap? Start focusing on your own responsibilities. Acting is not crap. Have you seen the episodes? Yeah, and how much do they pay you for that? Enough! And when they pick the show up, they're gonna pay me more. Oh, really? What makes you think they will? They will. And all I'm worried about right now is taking care of you. Yeah, well, don't hide behind that one, pal. I don't need you as a fucking nurse. If I wanted a nurse, I'd hire one. And you know what I'm trying to say. I'm not your nurse, Dad. I'm your son. And I wish you could see the difference. Put this on. You got 10 minutes. Go ahead. Walk away!
too much for me. Did your mother ever tell you we were club champs and mixed doubles mm -hmm. about 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. I don't think she ever has, but I think you've told us the last 12 times we played. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so much for old time glory and pickled memories. Oh. Come on, kids, <laughs> let's grab lunch. I gotta skip out today, but I think Tara can stay. Uh, Aww. sorry, Gina, I have to finish my turn paper. Aww. Maybe next time. Nice game, guys. so much have enjoyed having lunch with the two of you. Give me a rain check? Will do. Well, I guess it's you and me for lunch. Well, I think I can suffer that indignity. How's he doing? He's exhausted, angry, and depressed. Is that to be expected? I guess so. How are you doing? Not so well. Is there anything I can do? I don't think so, Stan. There isn't much I can do. To be totally honest, I'm numb. Is that so wrong? No, it's not. You can't help feeling what you feel. Just get someone to help with the nursing and bathroom chores. Believe it or not, I have Bobby for that. He's taken over. He helps to feed him, bathe him. He even takes him to the bathroom when he needs to go. Well, does it look like he's going to get better? I don't know anymore. I just don't know. Enough bad thoughts. Let's go and get some lunch. Baby, I miss you so bad. I know, but I can't. He's getting radiation right now and he's sick as a dog. What about us? I miss you. Reagan is my father. Come here. I can't right now. Can't or won't? Can't. But I will. I love you. Thanks, baby. I can't wait. They don't bite. God, what a house. Hey, to... no introduction necessary. We've heard so much about you. I hope that it was all good. Oh, well, it depends on what you mean by good. <laughs> Don't take him seriously. He's only joking. You know, behind every successful businessman, there's a raging saboteur. But never mind that. Mm. How was your flight? Excellent. Well, I hate to interrupt, but I promised Reagan I'd take her to the beach and show her how warm the water is here. By all means. Just make sure you're back for dinner at 7.30 so we can get to know you a little better. Sounds like a plan. Nice meeting Bye. you. Nice Have to meet fun. you. She's okay. Better than he is. Last night's party. Coming to the beach, drinking beers. Called work, said fuck em. I don't even want to see anybody there. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Just kick back all day long, drink some beers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And start it over again tonight. Can't beat this, man. Nah, especially. See that, dude? Mm. Jesus, what a nice piece of ass right there. Any for your thoughts? Not thinking anything. Why so somber? I don't know, a lot of pressure, I guess. Your dad, huh? Well, that, I need to be here, and we have the series. What else is it? Just a lot of stuff, I guess. That too. Are you gonna let me in on it or are you gonna keep it a secret? If I knew what to say, I'd say it. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. You're the one trying to push the conversation. Listen, I love you very much, Bobby Carter. This thing is not etched in stone. You can always get out of it if you want. I love you too. It's just a lot of stuff coming down all at once. Nice piece of ass you got there, buddy. Famous bitch to that. Keep walking. Cheers.
here and stop me? Are you gonna let him talk to me like that? What good is it gonna do hey. to confront him? Tap that ass from behind really quick. Shut up, you're disgusting. Reagan. Dude, you're disgusting. You hear that, James? Fuck that shit, dude. Let's say something. <gasps> the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're tough now, huh? Honey. Come on! We'll fucking kill you! You're lucky she's here! You're just gonna leave him there? What do you want me to do? Take him with us? He just tried to attack you. Yeah, but for a minute there, I thought you were gonna let him. Are you okay? I'm fine. God, I never want to see you hurt. Yeah, well, you were doing a pretty good job of it yourself before they came along. What did I say? It's what you didn't say, Bobby. What is this, guessing missing word game? What are you talking about? I'm talking about us, Bobby, us. I don't want to lose you, okay? You're not going to lose me. What if I have to stay here? Okay, that's not going to happen. Acting is your future. Your father will understand. You just have to explain it to him. Hey, how are you? Oh, Beth, you're starting to get that glow. You are beautiful. Thank you. Thanks, Jane. What happened to your eye? That's nothing. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Looks like somebody gave you a shiner. Do you need ice for that, honey? No, it's nothing. He says it's nothing. Now to the toast. Here's to both of you and a wonderful future together. You know, I'm really proud of him. He's worked so hard and he's finally gotten his chance. Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed they pick up the series, huh? There's a chance it won't happen? Not for this one. The ratings were too good since Bobby joined the cast. Hmm. I'll believe that when he gets a check. Oh, Mr. Carter, this will happen. But more importantly, Bobby is excited about his work. You know, even if he didn't make a dime, he'd want to do it. Unfortunately, you can't eat excitement. You know, there comes a time, young lady, where you have to gut it up and, and do what you gotta do, whether it excites you or not. Have you seen an episode? Mm-hmm. And? It's all right. Well, I'm glad. Because with all due respect, if Bobby didn't have his work, he'd have nothing. Well, you can't fault anybody for standing up for their man. <laughs> no, I guess not. You know, you're like a lioness protecting her den. Bobby, she's a keeper. She's a keeper, Bobby. As you can see, Larry, these little translucent spots are what's causing the pain. So, this is it, huh, Doc? We'll be able to treat the pain. How long? I'm not. I'm not God, Larry. I, I, I can't say for sure. We're probably talking months. Months? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, months. <sighs> Isn't there any other treatment you can offer me? I'm afraid not, Larry. I, we've done it all. Oh, my God. I can't believe what I'm hearing. It's like a nightmare. God almighty. Is there anything that I can do for you? No, just give me a few minutes. Sure. But if you need anything, to see the girls up front. Mr. C, 
No, Bill, take me to the ballpark. You think that's a good idea? You need your rest. I'm not thinking today, Bill. Just take me to the ballpark, and then you can go get lunch and hang on to this for me, man. Bill just called. He left your father at the ballpark and went to lunch, and then he got in a fender bender, and he needs you to pick up your father. Christ, why would he leave him there? I don't know, hon. God, he needs to be home getting his rest. I know. I know. <laughs> Dad, you shouldn't be out here. I know. I just wanted to see if I could still... See what? See if I could still hit. I was a, I was a pretty good hitter. I played minor league ball. Never knew that. Yeah, well, it's old news. It doesn't matter. Besides, I had to give it up to go to work and help support my parents. I really wanted to play baseball. Huh. Yeah. And? Okay. I just hit one over the fence. <laughs> I just hit one over the wall. It's beautiful. It must have been some shot, huh? I wish you'd seen it, son. It was just great. It's like, just like the old days. Mr. Carter. Do you plan to take active control in your team? Uh, who do you plan to hire as your first manager? Hey, first things first. They still have to sign the papers. Uh, do you think it wise, sir, that you're still going through the purchase of your team, given your state of health? I'm getting better every day. Given your state of health, who do you plan to hire as your president of the team? Again, first things first. Uh, Excuse why... us. We'll answer all the questions after the conference. <sighs> Mrs. Carter, could I get a comment no more. from you? Uh -uh. Just one comment. If we could all take our seats, we could get started. I think by now that we all know each other so we could dispense with the formalities. The city council has agreed to all the final conditions of the lease. I want to point out at this time that Mr. Carter has met every requirement laid forth by the league and Mr. Hellman, except for one. One of Mr. Carter's investors has backed away at the last minute from his commitment of $3 million. Now, we have made... Excuse me, but why weren't we informed of this situation before? Because Mr. Pratt only informed us this morning that he was not going to participate as an investor. Excuse me, but I have reason to believe that Mr. Pratt backed out well over a month ago when Mr. Carter was taken ill. Are you insinuating that we're lying to you? I'm not insinuating anything, but I'm quite disturbed to hear of this alarming news at the midnight hour. How do you intend to deal with this? Well, we were hoping that you'd have a suggestion. We have no suggestion. I'm inclined to just get up from this table and leave. A deal is a deal. Mr. Hellman, let me suggest a solution that might just satisfy both of us. I don't even want to hear it. I'm not comfortable with the lack of disclosure here. And any way you cut this cake, $3 million is a lot of money. Mr. Hellman, please sit down. Who the hell are you? I'm Mr. Carter's son, Bobby. Please just hear him out. Why the hell should I? 
because this is a deal you both have been working on for well over a year, and I know it's something that you both want very badly. So? Bobby, shut up. If he wants to leave, let him leave. Son. Please, Mr. Hellman, I understand your feelings and your suspicions, but let me assure you that up until today, we fully expected Mr. Pratt to come up with his share of the money. I already heard that. Please. My father had a very serious surgery six weeks ago, and all of our time has been consumed by his recovery. If you just give him the courtesy of an explanation. Bobby, stop begging. Be quiet. Let him talk. Go on. Thank you. My dad met with Mr. Pratt right after the surgery, and he assured us he was still part of this deal. His withdrawal is just as much of a shock to us as it is to you. So what difference does that make to me? All the difference in the world. Integrity is the most important thing in the world to my father. And he would never, ever do anything to deceive anyone like that. This deal means everything to him. And I think that we can all agree we've spent way too much time and energy to let this fall apart right now. So please hear my father out. All right, talk. Mr. Hellman, we've already reached a level of 25,000 in subscriptions for the season ticket sales. Now that guarantees the attendance of two million. Obviously, we're gonna have to sell more tickets as soon as the sale is announced. Ted. Hey. Cliff, and I want to introduce you to our new general manager. This is hey, Ted Cliff. McCabe. You know Cliff, How's it going? Mayor Ann Walker. Nice. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate and it. Thank you. boy or girl? A little boy. Oh, let me see. Ooh, it moves. <laughs> oh, sometimes. So how are you holding up? Okay. Larry seems to be a little better since they stopped the radiation. Is he worried about the cancer recurring? Of course, but it's hard to talk about it. I want to help him, but I'm walking on eggshells. Funny. When we were kids, Larry always made me feel that way, too. It's him, Janet, not you. He couldn't have asked for a better wife. I would trade places with him in a minute. Mm. Come on, let's go mix. We're starting to look suspicious. Why the heck are you so somber? Today's the day you've been waiting for. Fuck you. You're such an ass kisser. What? You know, Hellman, Dad. What about him? I know what you've been doing. Sucking up to Dad, bending his ear. You're like a vulture waiting for it to happen. What in the hell are you talking about? All right. You want me to spell it out for you? You're waiting for him to die. Are you nuts? You're lucky we're in a room full of people. Could I get everybody's attention just for a moment, please? Everybody. First, I want to say thanks to everybody in attendance here for contributing to making a six-year community dream come true. And by golly, we did it, didn't we? And thanks so much. Most importantly, though, we'd like to thank Larry Carter for his tireless efforts in bringing this dream to fruition. So here's to the miracle worker. Here's to Mr. Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is, Larry Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. And Larry, on behalf of Mayor Ann Walker and the rest of the city council, I'd like for you to come up here and accept the key to our city. Thank you. Oh, man. I'm practically speechless, <laughs> but you all know me better than that. I want to thank every one of you for being here tonight, but especially I want to thank my sweet family for their forbearance, for their tolerance, and for their support. Come on up here, Janet. Donnie, Beth, Bobby, come on up here for a rousing <laughs> round of a baseball song. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd, buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks.
I don't care if we ever get back in this root. Root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. That is one, two, three strikes, you're out of the old ball game. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, you all. Drink up. <laughs> hey, just came in to see how you're doing before I go. Hey, where are you going? Just out to the palace to see some friends. Have they got a start date for your show yet? As a matter of fact, yes, they did. When is that? About a month. You know, Bobby, these opportunities don't come along every day. Shouldn't you be in L.A.? Don't worry about it. I am worried. I don't want you to waste your opportunities sitting around the house. Well, I like sitting around the house. Well, I hope you're not saying that for my benefit. Of course not. I mean, you got to take care of your business first. I get along very well with Hutch. It's really nice of you, Dad. I'll remember that. <laughs> See you in the morning. Okay, son. Hey, you know, Bobby? I'd give everything up just to try it again. I understand that, Dad. I really do. Just make every day count. I will. Hi, guys. Where are you going? Out. Oh, I gotta go. Fine. Where's the fire? Ah, he's young. When you're young, there's always a fire. <laughs> so how are you feeling? You know, actually, I feel better than I have in days. You feel well enough to go to dinner? You know, I feel well enough for a lot of things. Larry, not now. I have to go get ready if we're going out to dinner. Hey, come on. We can eat dinner anytime. The house is empty. I, I, I feel like I can... Larry, not now. You don't need to get excited. I don't need to get excited? Well, suppose you tell me what I do need. Larry, we're gonna go to dinner. I don't want this thing to escalate. Did it ever occur to you that I may not have that many opportunities left? Don't talk like that. That's nonsense. You've had the radiation. You're gonna get better. Oh, Janet, did it ever occur to you that I love you? <laughs> that I want to make love to you? Did it ever occur to you that maybe you're just horny? That's your way of feeling that you need me? That's not true. Like shit, it's not true. When have you ever needed me? I've always needed you, For Janet. For what? To be my wife. To bear the children, to be a mother to those children, to represent this family. Did you ever need me for advice or support? Did you ever need me to soothe your hurts? To love you when you felt alone? Never mind. Janet, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Shh. I'm here. Uh, what I wouldn't give to start all over again. I mean, you gotta take care of your business first. Just make every day count. So how do you like it so far? It's been going great. Good. Sean and you are like magic when you play off each other. And the ratings, they jumped when you came on. And this year, we're going to reach for the brass ring. It's also fast. It feels like a dream. Well, believe it. It's real. I just wanted to tell you what great work you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later. Hello? Bobby, your dad has taken a turn for the worst. What? I don't know how to spell it out for you. The doctors say he doesn't have long to live. But I thought the doctor said the radiation would take care of all the... I know, Bobby. We all did. He kept it from us. He didn't want us to know. Mom, I'm getting on a plane and coming home. No, Bobby. Your dad doesn't want you to do that. 
He wants you to finish the series. God, Mom, I don't know what to do. I mean, did the doctor tell you how much time he has, or...? He didn't say exactly. He said it could be weeks. God. Listen, for now, stay there. It's what your dad wants. It's not just about what he wants, Mom. I'll call you tomorrow, Bobby. I love you. Me too, Mom. Me too. Seem to be someplace else. What are you thinking? I'm here now. I'm so excited for this year. Yeah, I know. You don't sound excited. I'm just worried about my dad. I know. It's tough, but you'll understand. I may have to go home. Bobby, you can't. We're in rehearsal. Shooting starts in July, the season in late September, and we have to have at least six episodes in the can. Yeah. Well, you don't sound excited. Wait, you're gonna do it, right? I don't know. Wait, what do you mean you don't know? Reagan, I may have to go home. Bobby, acting is your future, your life. What are you, crazy? My father is dying. You're not a little boy, Bobby Carter. Life goes on. He'll understand. You just can't sit around and wait for this to happen. It's not him that needs to understand. He's my father. Well, then who, Bobby? You. Oh, I don't believe you're doing this. I love you. Yeah, I bet you do. What, what are you doing? This is my father we're talking about. We'll get the rest of it tomorrow. Where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere that's not here. Let's cut to page 84. Okay. Now, what's going oh, on here? Gosh, I don't even know. I don't know what's going on either. I'm not sure what. What's on your mind? I, uh. I can't do it. You can't do what? I can't do the role. What? My father's dying. Bobby, I'm sorry to hear that. But you just have to work around it. We've got a schedule to keep. I can't be in L.A. and Florida at the same time. Oh, I hear that. Bobby, we got a hit here, and you're a part of it. There's millions at stake. I don't know what else to say. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I, I can fly back and forth every other day and take the red eye back or... That's ridiculous. That'll never work. Bobby, I'm sorry your dad is ill. But it would be impossible to adjust our schedule to meet to your personal needs. I'm sorry. He's my father. Well, what about your, your dream? I'll just have to wait. Now you listen to me, young man. I put myself out for you to get this part. He's my father. He's the only one I'll ever have. Taking his pain medication? Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I gave it to him an hour ago. Oh, 
gotta go out and do some shopping. I'm also gonna see about arranging some in home nursing care. I don't need it. Until you build up your strength, dear, you need help. Yeah. Bobby needs some free time too. I don't need any free time, Mom. I'm fine. Bobby, I haven't left here in a week. Larry, it's not fair. Hey, Janet, some things in this life aren't fair. I don't have long to go here, no. I'd rather spend it with my family with some damn nurse. What can I get you from the store? It's chocolate ice cream. Larry, I'll get you yogurt. <coughs> chocolate ice cream is loaded with fat and cholesterol. Please, just the ice cream. Okay, dear. I'll give in this time. Okay. Love you. Take care. Christ. Did you ever see anything quite like that? She's doing the best she can. The only way she knows how. High cholesterol? <laughs> what is this, a sitcom? You're being too hard on her, Dad. This cancer isn't her fault. Oh. Well, whose fault is it then? Mine? It's nobody's, Dad. Nobody's. It just happened. Yeah, well... Why did it have to happen to me? Why did it me? Yes? Yes, I need to speak with Mr. Carter. Mr. Larry Carter? Yes, that's the one. I'll take care of this, Jan. Can I help you? Yeah, I need to speak with Mr. Carter. I need to deliver him a package. He's not taking visitors today, but I can take that for him. Uh, yeah, he asked me to discuss this matter only with him. Well, that's not going to be possible. If you want to give me the package, I can give it to him, have him review it, get back to you. Yeah, look, why can't I just speak to him for one minute? Okay, I want to deliver this to him myself. Is he okay? Is he ill? Actually, he is, and he's resting. But I assure you, if you give me the package, I'll give it to him right when he wakes up. Yeah, I'm not happy about this. Well, you're going to have to be. You better get it. I don't know. I guess I just got a lot on my mind. I'm here to help you, know? Well, I appreciate it, Dad, but it's something I gotta deal with on my own. Well, what's going on with your show? Shouldn't you be in L.A.? I took care of it. It's on hold. On hold? <laughs> on hold, my ass. I checked. I know better. I don't want to fight. Hey, no fight, but I just want to tell you something. What? <sighs> Making you the CEO of the baseball team. What? You heard me. I can't do that. Donnie's been groomed for that, and I don't even know... <sighs> you got what it takes, boy. How do you know that? I mean, I don't know anything about running a baseball team. You don't need to, son. When I watch you make a decision, it's like, it's like I'm watching myself. You're hard-nosed, you're stubborn, you're fair, and you're always in control. The rest will come. <laughs> how are you so sure? Oh, God, that's how I started out. I fumbled and I... Blustered and punted and picked myself up off the ground and started again. And, and I had the discipline and the diplomacy and the energy to persevere that you gotta have. And that's all it takes. But what about Donnie? This is what he wants. Oh, I'll take care of Donnie. I make him head of the real estate division. He, he's got too hot a head for this job. I don't know. Son, you got too many I don't knows in you. 
just do it. And while I'm on the subject, there's more. Listening. What I once thought was important. isn't so important anymore. I know. I know what you went through. I know it wasn't easy. I was so wrong about you, son. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, Bobby. Life is not fair. I'm supposed to be your father. I'm not supposed to cry in front of you. It's all right, Dad. I understand and I love you. I love you, Father Bobby. I should be. Shh, it's all right. Dad, you don't have to play any roles for me. It's okay to just let out what you feel. It's not easy for me, Bobby. Why not? I don't know why. If I knew why, it'd be a lot easier for me to show how I feel, which is something I should have done years ago, son. Let you in on a little secret, Dad. Hmm. If you act human, I'll still love you. Uh, you're the best, Bobby. You're a good boy. <laughs> Funny, I guess you must be invisible then, because I never see you. What are you getting at, Bobby? I think it's pretty obvious you could spend a little more time at home. What do you think you are? I don't have to account to you. No, you don't. But you could be a little more discreet about where you go and who you go with. What are you talking about? Never mind where I got him. Dad's never gonna see him. Please, Bobby. You know what? Just Please. stop it. I don't even want to hear it because it's just gonna make me sick. Please, Bobby. You don't understand. I don't want to understand. I want you to spend a little more time with him before he dies so we can have a little more peace and comfort. He's not gonna die, Bobby. Mom, look at me. Look at me! He is gonna die. And all we can do is give him a little more comfort before he does, and I'm not gonna let you fuck that up! You have no right to talk to me now. Bullshit. You lost those rights when those photos were taken. Jane, can I help? Bobby, please, hold your father up so I can get him cleaned up. Get him out of here. Hey, Dad, I got you. I got you. Just let her get you cleaned up. Get him the hell out of here. Don, can you grab some of those other towels from the linen closet? No. Oh, God. I'll get it. Jesus, it's awful. Oh. Oh, okay, Bobby. Larry. Larry, we're going to get you wiped off. Oh. You're just about done, and we'll get you in bed, oh. okay? Bobby, I'm so embarrassed. Get it, Dad. Oh. Oh, God, it's horrible. Larry, let's just concentrate on getting you back in the bed. So He's doing fall. the best he can, Mom. I'm just trying to help Bobby. Hey, would you just stop fussing over me? Sorry. Ow. Uh, Ow. Oh, God. Ow. Uh, oh. <coughs> uh. Listen, Dad. Uh, Beth and I really need to be going. You've got more than enough help here already. Where's my grandson? Oh, right here, Dad. I want to hold my grandson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, you're the sweetest little pooty woot that ever wooted a poot. <laughs> you're a tiger, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what a doll. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<coughs> Dad, why don't you get your rest now, and uh, Beth and I will bring him back by again tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I'm so glad they could make it by. Yeah, I hope once a week isn't too much of a strain. Bobby, they're doing the best they can. With the baby and the business, they're both very busy. I hear you. They just don't have time, honey. Hey, you all just stop it. Sorry, Dad. Larry, hmm? I'm going out for a couple of hours. Is there something that you need me to get for you? No, no, thank you. No? Bobby? Nothing. All right, then. I'll see you guys later. Uh, what's happening between you two? Nothing. I guess I'm just tired. Jane, you've been in prison with us here all day. Why don't you just take a break? I mean, Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. You probably need a walk, and I can take care of whatever Dad needs. Okay. I think I'll go freshen up, okay? I'll be back later. I love you, Larry Cotter. Son? Will you, will you come a little closer? I can't really shout across the room. Take my hand, son. Bobby, I'm not going to be around much longer. You don't know that. Don't say that. Oh, I know. I'm so weak and dizzy. And each breath I take is harder than the last one. But I want you to, I want you to promise me something. I want you to promise me that you'll take care of your mother and your brother. I will. But you need to get your rest, Dad. I don't want to sleep. I cherish every moment of this. And I want to thank God for giving me the best son in the world who can watch me cry. And it's okay. <laughs> Like all men, my father was a man of many dimensions, many faces. Most of you knew him as a successful businessman. His achievements are evident throughout this great city. I think he has what it takes. We'll see. But as I close my eyes and go back in time, I can see that he was always there for me. He made me feel safe. What the hell is he talking about? Shh. He wasn't always my pal. But he was always a rock that I could lean on. And then he got lung cancer. And I began to see the full depth of this man. He let me inside to share his fear and his anger and his pain. Throughout it all, he never wavered in taking care of his business or his family. He was afraid of death, but he accepted it with dignity, the inevitable conclusion. He was a man that lived life to the fullest, reached out to the ones that he loved, and made many contributions to the community in which he lived. Most of all, most of all, he was my father and my protector, my teacher, my confidant, and my daddy. And in the end, he was my best friend.